Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Welcome everybody to Niles, Ohio. Welcome to the Summit Plaza. There's nothing going on here, nothing. Completely gone-o, done-o, empty. Place is available for sale though if you want to move into a really moldy looking building that's run down, but it, it, I mean, who knows? It could be a fixer-upper or you could just tear it down and rebuild the place. But anyway, we're gonna take a look at this place and see what we see. Yeah, here's our sign that faces the highway here. Not really much going on on this side. A couple more businesses are listed on the other side, though. Let me walk in the grass here a little bit. Show you this side. Ah, uh, maybe not. <laughs> All right, well, that's out. But, yeah, that's the signage for the place. Place has definitely seen better days. Maybe it is a fixer-upper. Or if you're looking to invest in a property, you demolish this and build something new. This was definitely a sketchy looking place, I'll say that, when we uh, first pulled in here. And I had noticed it for a long time, although I, I had thought that at least one of the businesses were still open, but I, I'm pretty sure I can confirm nothing's open here anymore. And unfortunately, I don't really know a whole lot about this, other than the two obvious ones. I don't know what was in this building, or buildings, anyway, but we'll take a look. Take a look inside. It's empty. Shocker. Definitely moldy. If you look at the back wall, that's all black mold forming on that wall right there. That's black mold, so yeah, it's definitely bad. I mean, the power's probably been cut forever. And I can't really tell, but by that pole, looks like a puddle of water there. Actually, it looks like a giant puddle of water in that whole center area of the store. I know it's hard to tell on camera though, but you see how the re you see the reflection of the door off the floor. I'm pretty sure the tile isn't that clean to make it shiny, so that's probably a big puddle of water there. And this door goes to the same the same building, so nothing here. So there's nothing in there. You got a lot of paint peeling off the ceiling. I wonder if that got lead in it. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's take a look inside of this one. Oh, you really can't see much in here. That's closed up too. The little wall here kind of throws it off and then they got a curtain here on my side, but I wonder if I could see above the curtain. Eh, it's just like a closet or office. Maybe it was just an office. So nothing in there. Another gone-o building. This one looks like it's pretty bad, though. The door looks bad. I don't know what this was. Maybe this was the uh, the eye doctor. Well, it had to be the same people because the entrance on there. But look at the door. Now, it looks like, yeah, they put a wall there to kind of block the store off and just use it as a window. What business was this? This should be the, yeah, the vision center. Okay. So they took up the majority of this shopping center here, or plaza. There, you got a pretty good view in there now. Hi, you see my reflection on the mirror? Let me come over here a little bit. Nothing to really see in there either. And that's not the lens, that's foggy or whatever that's the glass the glass is just filthy so it makes it look a little blurry but that is just the uh, the glass and those are mirrors back there those aren't windows because I see my reflection in the one might be able to see me waving in that one on the left <laughs> but nothing in there either there's another one with the curtain this might be for the same people though too yeah, that is. And then they got an office over here, it looks like. Oh yeah, like a break room. Cool. 
And then lastly, we have this one over here. This was the tanning salon. Island, Island Tropics Tanning. Another one that looks like it bit the dust a long time ago. I mean, this is pretty nasty here. So clearly, nothing's been made of this place. And it is filthy in there. Let me step over here. And there's a lot, like little rooms that they partitioned. Like rooms within the big room here. Hurting. I see a water fountain. Yippee. <laughs> but that's it. Alright, so as we walk over here, we're not going to be able to walk around back on this side because it's all overgrown with weeds. However, we can walk around back on the opposite side, and believe me, I drove back there already to make sure it was safe because this stuff, it, it definitely looks sketchy here, but it seemed just fine. I didn't see anybody back there, and just to give you a thorough view of this place, parking lot seen better days. I mean, this place is going to need some TLC. you got the drain there in the middle of the parking lot in those two spots near the puddle, and it's sunk in pretty badly. Back here, you'll see why I said it was sketchy looking. But we're okay for now. The trailer, that truck, though, that that's... And then that house is for sale. That's what it says. There's a for sale sign out on the road. So I don't know if that's abandoned or not. I'm not going over there. I, I'm, you know, I don't know. Besides, the grass is cut. It's not like cut, cut, but it's cut. And they got an old motor home back there. But this is weird too. This might be theirs. Like I said, I'm not going back there. But you got an old truck with a TV in there. Yeah. Maybe a realtor cut the grass or something. They had somebody do it, but... Pretty sure I just heard something over there anyway. I like the doors on the back of these buildings here, though. These aren't the kind of doors you would expect to see. <laughs> Definitely hear animals out here in the woods behind me. Nothing really back here, though. Whatever this sign, oh, the vision center. It almost looked like that door was open. <laughs> Power still on, you can hear. Somebody had a fire here. So clearly people do come back here. They got to the power, they cut the cables out and stuff. Foolish. If somebody did that to try and get money out of that, they could have killed themselves. I mean, it's happened. It happened at Rolling Acres Mall. Dumb. Don't do it. Besides, leave it alone. How much could you possibly get for that? I don't know. But definitely not enough to, to make it worth it, you know. But that's back the side of the building here. One more video I'm adding on here from Niles. Just because I can. I mean, you might enjoy these videos you might not and sorry if you don't if you do thanks thanks for watching and i just like doing it i just like walking around these old places see what they were keep them alive through video because nothing lasts forever i mean eventually this will be torn down and turned into something else or they can gut this place and fix it up who knows so that's all it's just a curiosity factor but hope you enjoyed anyway and I just like doing videos Kayla doesn't mind she hangs out in the car I come out here and film for a few minutes and then we get back in the car and drive somewhere else sometimes she joins me on the exploration sometimes she doesn't but she just says yeah go ahead which is nice I'm glad she's so supportive of uh, me doing this in the channel and the fun that we have so 
we do a lot more exploring off camera than we do on camera just by driving around we'll be driving around a place and looking like oh that's just cool that was cool you know but that's it we're gonna take one off go out, get on out of here and uh get in the car i can't believe i'm saying this but in mid-july it's actually on the cool side out here because of all the rain and how gloomy it is out here it's just so beautiful out here in ohio i will say this i love the breeze it does oh, feel nice but oh well i'm ready to move on plus it's starting to rain again so yippee anyway hope you enjoyed if you did give the video a like if you're not a subscriber feel free to subscribe to the channel for more content and until next time, everybody, take care, stay awesome. Have a empty shopping center delicious day. <laughs> that works. Bye. Okay, bye everyone. Bye.